good morning um i look really pale i'm looking at myself in this and i'm like why is it so pale oh okay the heat just came on hopefully that becomes like background noise and you can't really hear it so because we're in the dead of like winter now officially i'm going to share my moisturizers with you just so that I don't know, in case you want ideas. Because even though I want to do like a moisturizers video, it'll just be, you know, if you watch the vlogs, then you'll get like a better idea of what I'm using and trying. I have the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion as well as the Hylamide Subcute Eyes Advanced Serum. So this is under the eyes, this is on the face. I'm gonna get a full size of this. This is so good. Um, this was probably sent, like Clinique probably sent this with a whole bunch of other random things, but like I'm so into Clinique skincare. Um, they sent the Moisture Surge a little bit. I put a put it in a mailbox haul that probably went up the day I'm filming this. This stuff is like really, really good. I had, what did I have? Actually, I decided to be brave today. It was dumb. I was like, let me try and not use a moisturizer. Let me just go straight in with like a moisturizing primer. That was dumb because you need a moisturizer. It is winter. It is like single digits at night. So yeah, all about this. Long tangent on skincare. On the under eyes, Master Corrector from Jojo Armani in number two. On the face is the Tarte Shape Tape in medium, and under the eyes is Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. So just these two shades on the face. So I used the concealer as foundation today, obviously, and I love it. It looks amazing. There's no SPF. You could easily take photographs in this and it'll look so good, and because it's concealer it has really high coverage and if you have like maybe normal to dry you probably don't need to set it with a powder when I use it on the under eyes I tend to kind of skip powder in the inner corners just so you just don't see the lines pretty much I set the whole face with the La Prairie powder which I don't have to show you bronzer is the Tom Ford in bronze age it's, you know wherever you usually have your bronzer um, this is in there I think it's only in this like special edition packaging am I making this up I'll, I'll link it down below because I feel like it came out this summer but I think it's still like I'm still seeing it everywhere cleaned up the bronzer with the redial powder the redial banana powder so down here around the mouth a little bit and then the highlight is the Lancome glow subtil in buff lights for the brows, we went in with the Peak Espresso Powder. We used both shades, kind of to fill in the brow, and then we use Anastasia Brow is in Ebony. Okay, so for the eye makeup, I use, oh hold on, we'll start with this. I use the MAC Prep and Prime Eye in Medium. It looks like this. I'm really pretty sure they don't make this anymore, but I'm gonna keep using this until there is none left. Uh, I had shared, I had mentioned this in the last vlog when I was reviewing the Bodyography kind of canvas eye mousse because I thought it would be something similar to this and it is this one's just like far more silicone -y, and that one is not as silicone -y, but it does the same thing like it cancels out like your lids and it creates like a really smooth surface for eye makeup and it really like your eye makeup doesn't budge so I used that and then I went in with the Trish McAvoy 24 hour eyeshadow and liner and this one is in the shade Topaz This is like a nice alternative to the By Terry Bronze Moon. This one is a little less bronzy. Closer in shade to the Marc Jacobs Three Shakes. It's that on the bottom. On the lid, I use this Jelly Pong eyeshadow. This is a number, I have no idea. I think there's three shades in this collection and I got the darkest one because that's just what I like. This is like a jelly, kind of like a jelly feeling shadow. And it's obviously that huge swatch right there. In the crease, I have this shade. Okay, well, first of all, here's this Tarte palette. And I filled it up with a whole bunch of Davina um, shadows. Do you guys see? I'm going to do a video on them soon, I hope. But I have this matte shade. And it's called Passion. So there's a swatch of Passion, and I have that in the crease. And then we have the Cargo Summables in Black Sea on the tight line and the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen to kind of do the wing liner. I wanted to give you a bit of a closer look of the eye makeup. It's really pretty and because the Trish McAvoy as well as the Jelly Pong eyeshadow have a little bit of shimmer to it. Everything else layered on top of it has a little bit of shimmer to it even though it was matte. So we have a little bit of like messy smoky on the bottom which I really enjoy and then the rest is pretty standard. 
And then for the lips, we have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Freestyle Lip Liner. And that's kind of like a brownie nude. And then we have the Chanel Gloss, the Rouge Allure in Super Nude. Give you a little swatch of that. And then just in the center of the lips, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Neon Orange Lip Gloss. It's like, wow, that is not a, a winter color, but I love using these really, really bright, intense oranges or really bright, intense peaches in the center just to give it a little bit of like, you know, it, I think it looks healthy. So there's the lip liner, the gloss, and then obviously the neon orange from Anastasia. So that is the makeup for today. I actually, this is one of the first weekends where I don't really have anything planned. Like, it's so amazing. I'm like, because I filmed a lot last weekend, so I have two videos going up today, the vlog and like a Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. And then tomorrow, I'll probably upload like a mailbox haul. So I'm so good on videos. And I have another, like Drugstore Diaries that I also filmed last week. So that'll go up when this vlog goes up. So you'll see those together. And then, what else? We'll see, we'll see what today we're gonna do. Okay, we are ready for groceries. Okay, so I don't know who you guys, will tell me who you follow on Instagram for Trader Joe's. Like, I don't think Trader Joe's actually has their own account, but I follow Trader Joe's list and I've been seeing so many good things on there. I'm so excited to go today. So leave all your, even if it's like not on Instagram, you know, if there's like a blog or whatever, like I want to know who posts like the best like Trader Joe's stuff because <laughs> obviously. Okay, what am I sharing with you? Outfits, it's just like a zip up from H&M, hoodie, hoodie in the back. Um, what else do we have? Those sporto boots that I shared with you guys in the last vlog. Yeah, we, this is looking really stylish. And then I have this little, again, and little print is not for everybody. I love this one though. This is by Dolce & Gabbana. And I think this style is discontinued. Like this print isn't discontinued, but this style is right now. What you can see a lot of is the one with like the flap. I don't know why I made that face. I just, I don't like flaps. I feel like they look really like... They look way too proper, and I think, like they look briefcasey to me. Maybe that's what it is. Like it looks, yeah, proper, professional. So something like this, where it's like easily accessible. I prefer something like this. Um, I think if I lived in like a city and I was like on public transportation and walking around a lot, I would probably want something that's more secure, but that's really not an issue for me here. So yeah, cute bag. I'm probably not gonna take it into Trader Joe's, but I'm just gonna grab my wallet and keys. But. That's where we're going. I'm so excited. You guys, my hair is so... Let's see if it stays this way. I used um, a one inch. Is it a one inch? I think it was like a one inch today. It looked way more like un... Or this looks more undone. It looked more done when I was showing you guys my makeup earlier. So I have been very addicted to these lately. So we have four, five bags. Okay, I very rarely deviate that far from the gummies that I can get from Five Below. But I decided to try these because the mango ones I had gotten, which I saw today still, are so good. These are the gummy tummies. And it says cherry, lime, and strawberry natural flavors. This is what they look like. They're so good and they're fresh. Also, their tummies have a liquid in them. I could not even control myself when I had had one. At first I was just like, oh, okay, so I don't know why it didn't occur to me because it just says it, that they have soft tummies, but when you have them, oh my God, the juice just kind of, mm. These are the Scandinavian swimmers. Okay, that's already inappropriate. Um, <laughs> So these kind of, when you open them, taste like or smell like the Swedish fish, just slightly. But then you have like these four different shapes. This fish tastes like like a citrus one. The dolphin has like a bit of like unidentified berry flavor. The horse, horse, what do you call this? Seahorse. Oh my god, upside down. There we go. Kind of like a coconutty. And then this um, penis lobster looks like. Um, the penis lobster uh, has the most similar flavor to like the regular Swedish fish, but a little bit more of like an apple juice 
as like a base flavor, if that makes any sense. Some oldies but goodies. The lemon bites, these are really good. I haven't seen these in a while, so I grabbed a box of those. The lemon poppy seed muffins, love these. And the inside out carrot cake cookies. I mean, mm, I have seen these many times. I've just been avoiding them. Like if you've seen the hauls, I've just been trying to not get them, but you know, holiday season. I decided to try three dips. We've got the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip, which I've had before. I really like this. This is very yummy if you are into these kinds of flavors. This is the three layer hummus. It has the regular cilantro, jalapeno, and spicy. I feel like, Andrew, did I see this at your place? Why does this look so familiar to me now? Maybe I did. I remember liking it. So there's that. And then we have a little container of, I don't know how to pronounce this, muhammara? Let me know. I've only had this once and it was in Dubai and it was amazing. It's walnuts, roasted red peppers, and pomegranate juice. And, oh my god, I can't, it was much grainier the first time I had it. I just hope this tastes even remotely close to what I had because it was so amazing. Is this like a, I feel like, is it a Syrian dish? I could be making that up. If I'm making that up, let me know. Also, anyone who knows how to pronounce it, please also let me know. Two, crunchy slaw and another one of these uncured bacon spinach. And this one is really good. I really, really like this. Like the I was gonna say the bologna, ugh, gross. The bacon is really yummy. Tomatoes are super fresh, the egg, poppy seed dressing. This whole thing is really good. So I'm really glad that there's like a deviation because even though this is the best salad, it's easy to get bored of it. So I wanted to make sure there's another one I really, really loved. To go with the dips, I guess, the dips, the sauces. Dip sounds dumb, is that the right word? Veggie flaxseed tortilla chips. They're with the tomato, spinach, garlic, red beet, and onion flavors, oh, carrot and tomato. I like these, I've got these many times. They taste really good on their own or, you know, with dip. Quinoa and black bean infused tortilla chips. I feel like I've gotten these before. I think I have, when I remember liking them. So more for the dip. Blueberry waffles, a little more random. I kind of wanted the chocolate chip ones, but it was like chocolate waffle batter with chocolate chips in it and I just wanted it to be plain waffle batter. I know, picky, but I love blueberry everything. This was definitely an impulse purchase. I didn't really plan on this. I like soft cookies. These are the Trader Joe's and the Astounding Multi-Flavored Jojo's. So there's dark chocolate and milk chocolate drizzle, peppermint in dark chocolate, peanut butter with milk chocolate and dark chocolate drizzle, as well as ginger, which is what I'm really excited about. Ginger white chocolate and ginger snap sprinkles. They're basically what will look like an Oreo cookie that has now been drenched in all kinds of chocolate, so I'm pretty excited for this. Chicken pot pie ravioli, you guys saw the last vlog, right? This is so good. They still don't have my lemon one, my, a lemon ric my lemon ricotta. Where is that? Oh, and the spinach ravioli, the spinach ricotta from last week that I got was is good. It's definitely good if you love spinach and or ricotta. The spinach tastes very, very fresh, like really fresh. You know how sometimes spinach tastes like, like it's cooked spinach? That one tasted like fresh spinach with really good ricotta. The Indian trifecta now. We have two of the aloo chat. Pollock paneer, super fave, and last week we tried the paneer tikka masala, and this was really good. I really much, very much, very much enjoyed this. Two bags of the herbs and spices popcorn. Lastly is the chile and onion flour tortillas. This is going to be had with hopefully the pollock paneer, and put this in like a pan and make some kind of, you know, chips chip type things for the dipping sauces that I got or whatever the what, what are they called they're called dips right a dip a, a sauce I'm feeling like I'm there's a word that's missing from my vocabulary right now okay so do we see how there was rain and the rain won because I didn't put anything well I don't know what could you actually put in your hair that would actually prevent the rain from getting to it I have no idea anyway I lost that battle, but I do have a package here. And we're gonna unbox it together. I'm so excited. So I have this. And I'm so excited. Like I know what it is, but I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm really excited. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
have the tissue, more tissue, okay, same tissue, wallet, okay, oh, so it's like, a, there's like a carpet, which is, this is like really soft, like velvety, and then that comes off, so it's all red on the inside, ooh, is there one or two? No, it's just one, so one big pocket. Um, in the last vlog I showed you guys, I wanted to sell my the other Prada wallet I have just because, I don't know, I'm kind of in this thing where, oh my god, let's just finish this unboxing. So on the back there's a snap, <laughs> you take that off, and then there's a billfold here, and there's a place for a card there, and you have the, I don't know, the I am real card. And then you have just all this. I don't know if I'm like super obsessed with the idea of that being white, but I also just kind of like the contrast. So there's four, one, two, three, four slots here, and then one here, and then nothing under here. I just wanted like a slightly larger Prada wallet. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, I'm trying to accomplish a few things. Ooh, A, I'm wanting to now this could change obviously but like I don't want to have too much of one thing so if I wanted if I saw this Prada wallet and I wanted it then I'm gonna sell the one that I have now or you know what I mean like I have like as far as purses go like today I showed you like a Dolce & Gabbana so if I want another Dolce & Gabbana purse which I really can't think of one that I want but then I would probably try to sell that one I don't do you know what I'm saying does that make any sense like we'll see how that goes because I don't think I have doubles of any of my purses like as in brand wise but I don't know why are we even separating it by brand should it be by style should it be by function I don't know function actually doesn't matter because I don't buy purses for like occasions like I don't buy occasional items it's more like all the purses are about small to medium size and their crossbody pretty much and the other thing I'm trying to accomplish is to clear out and kind of have the house set up in a way where I'm like 80 to 90% ready to move. Does that make any sense? Like if I were to have to move in like a month, I could do it like so fast because there just wouldn't be that much to pack. Like everything I would have in the house would be something stuff that I would take with me. Does that make any sense at all? This lighting is so weird because I have the lights on over there and I don't have the lights here and it's like gloomy winter, like really cool green and blue outside and then I don't know, but this lighting is also kind of fun, don't you think? Okay, right, so I'm kind of trying to do that. So things are looking more sparse, but I like it, which is good. Do you guys see, I got a new rug. Maybe if I move, it'll focus on the rug. There we go. So obviously there was an animal print one there before. This one is like a much more like blown out version of i don't know i guess a zebra print but i just like it looks really good also i don't know it was like a crazy deal it was on wayfair for 45 dollars and the shipping was like five bucks but i was like whatever you know like that's a really good deal for that size and like the material is exactly the same as the one i had before so it's like nice also i have a new coffee table coming i don't know i haven't scheduled them to come in yet seriously though have you guys ever bought something from west elm i've never bought anything from west elm I've been seeing that terrace coffee table that's like three tiers and it's gold and glass and it's so beautiful and it retails for like $400 and I'm like that's so stupid I'm not paying $400 for a coffee table even though I pretty much use a coffee table every single day because I don't sit there and eat in my kitchen um so during was it Black Friday or Cyber Monday it was 50% off and I was like wow okay $200 for that coffee table totally worth it however I was really irritated. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll go on to raise.com and buy like a West Elm gift card for a little bit of a discount. And then, you know, you, you have a little bit of cash back. I'm like, okay, so maybe I could knock it off of a little even cheaper than $200 and, you know, cover tax maybe. Okay, so West Elm charges a $50 like delivery fee, like a delivery fee as in like they come and they assemble it for you. And there's no option to get rid of it. So, like I was forced to pay another $50 so that people could come in here and assemble it for me. I was like, okay, fine, fine. It's still 250. 
tax was around 20 20 bucks 21 dollars so on top of the delivery fee they also charge you shipping and handling I'm like, I thought the delivery fee of you assembling this is counts as shipping and handling. So that was another like 20 some bucks. So after all is said and done, another $90-ish was added on to the $199.99 sale price. I was not really happy about it. But at the same time, I really love that coffee table. I don't know why I'm ranting about that now. I, I could probably rant about it when I show it to you guys. I might even rant about it then again. <laughs> Also, before I went to Trader Joe's, I was like, okay, I'm gonna drive around and go to Nordstrom Rack, and if I can find parking, then I'll go. I almost gave up. I don't know, I'm not big on like, <laughs> I'm usually one of those people where like, I don't give that much time to looking for a parking spot. Like if it's just too busy, I just won't go. But I got a good spot, and then, it was just like a mob in there. Everywhere that you go, I've, I've been really trying to do things after work during a weekday or during lunch because you, seriously, holidays, it's crazy. Like people, it's not just people because usually it's just females, right? But now you got females and you have males out. Their male counterparts are also shopping with them. And it's just so many people. And half the time, sorry guys, the guys are just like, I don't know they're like I don't know like they're just following and hoping and you know what it is though the, one of the cutest things is when guys are trying to help with the shopping or with the choosing of the gifts and the way that they're like trying to convince the female counterparts of why they should buy this gift either for their mother or their daughter or cousin it's like the cutest thing like they'll hold something up and they'll be like and they'll give you like two reasons as to why they think it should be bought and then the women seriously every every single woman's face is like no she's not gonna use it no, no. It, it's just so cute it was it's all it's hilarious i don't know what it was maybe today it was just like full force but like every couple that i was like around or walked by these same kind of conversations were happening and it was so cute because like these men were just trying so hard to be like helpful and like hoping that what they wanted to buy was gonna get picked I don't know. I'm rambling. Also, I can't feel my knees anymore. Hey guys, so... Oh, wait, never mind. So, I wanted to share the... What is today, actually? Monday night dinner time. This is the Trader Joe's paneer tikka masala with spinach basmati rice. I feel like spinach basmati rice is not a thing. Actually, it's maybe it's a Trader Joe's thing. I don't know. You guys can correct me. Okay, so as I was saying, besides sharing the food with you, I also wanted to share this. I got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette in the mail today. Now, I know this is going to be permanent, but I actually sold all of my chocolate bar palettes. Well, yeah, and then, um, I don't know, just, I'm glad there's the blog sale, because like whenever I kind of get, you know, don't reach for something anymore, I don't want to say get sick of, because I like most of the things I get, but anyway, rambling. So this is what it looks like. And I also was going to pick up um, one of the lip glosses, the lip oil things, but, well, off of Sephora, I had like a $50 gift card, but I didn't like that the free samples today, that the free samples, the, the Mary Minis that they're doing, so I'll see if there's something better tomorrow and I'll get it, but this is what it looks like. I'm so happy. I kept seeing this like online, this shade right here, and I'm like, ugh, is it one of those like pastel minty greens? And it's not. I think it's something with a little bit of duochrome. Oh my god, this really smells like peach. Like, this has to be pretty strong for me to smell it because I have Indian food here, and Indian food can smell pretty strong. Jeez. Okay, anyway. Okay, so yeah, maybe I'll do a review of this and the, um, one of the, the lip oil gloss things over Christmas break. I didn't get the face palette because I didn't want it. Oh, and the reason, I, another reason I wanted to share this with you. Um, HSN, I picked this up off of HSN for like 30 bucks. It retails for 49. If you um, have Visa checkout or if you have a Visa card, sign up for Visa checkout. They're doing a promotion where it's like 20 off 40. They do it pretty often. Last time I picked up two of the Lancome um, Hypnos eyeliners, the one in like a ball, ball, in a well. I can't, I need to eat, but I'm just saying, sign up for them. Otherwise, I would never have picked this up unless I knew I was going to get such a good deal on it. 
Um, and then I even thought, should I do it for a giveaway? But then I was like, no, I, I opened it. I'm like, I really like the colors. So I'm, I'm excited to play with it. Good morning. I don't even know what day it is. Today is Thursday. I can't even remember the last time I vlogged. <sighs> Work has just been busy. I got home really late. I'm also not sleeping. I woke up at like five this morning and just like could not fall back to bed. And then um, the night before it was like 3.30. And I just like, could not fall back to sleep. And I was like, this is really annoying. Um, but I wanted to vlog because yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much I vlog this week. So Los Angeles, January, all booked. Um, flight is booked. Airbnb is booked. And the same goes for Andrew. So we will be there for a little mini vacation near the end of the month. Something like that. I mean, it's for Generation Beauty, but... I only want to get started on how Ipsy did the tickets this year because it's one thing if you're just, if you like bought a ticket early or you bought a ticket now or whatever it is. Actually, there's no tickets now, I don't think. But if you are a member of Ipsy, um, hmm. I mean, usually, I mean, if you're a member of Ipsy, there's two tiers. There's Glow and there's Blush. Glow members have their benefits. Blush members have their benefits. But basically... I don't know. Let's just say that the way they did the ticketing this year was or for this a specific generation beauty. Mm, not cool, guys. Not cool. What else did I want to say? The lip is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss in like one of the nude shades. I'll list it down below. Someone was talking about it in a video and I was like, oh yeah, I like that. So I got it and pulled it out today. Um, I've been like sitting here umming for like the past minute anyway, so we'll see. We'll check in later. <laughs> I just got these House of Lashes, the mini iconic. Kind of excited for them. They were doing like 15% off, I think. So I got three pairs because I don't know. They just seem like something I would really like. So here we go. This is the coffee table I was talking about, complaining about. <laughs> just came in and assembled it this morning. Um, I mean, it's going to be really fun to style. But, um, yeah, there's one by, I think, okay, so this one's West Elm, but I think there's one called, or by Mercer 41, very similar. It's always out of stock. I can never get my hands on it. And it's still always, I feel, over like $200 to $300. So, I don't know, it just depends on, I don't know, if you like this kind of coffee table, it's kind of hard to get a hold of. I didn't realize that they had these little things that were raised, but... Mm. Oh well, we'll have fun with this.